We doing mad today. Ain't got time for no games. We doing mad today. All work and no play. We doing mad today. Yes, this is the uh, introductory video for B. So skills practice 513. We're calculating percent and percentiles. I'm going to show you guys how to calculate this now using technology. Now I'm just going to write down the steps for a TI-83 calculator. And I'll tell you guys my um, Apple iOS or iPad. Um, the app is called Graphing Calc 83, and I'll show it to you guys in a second. But let's get some directions down. We're going to click this button called Second, and then we're going to hit VARS. And I put a box around it because those are kind of like the buttons you press on the calculator. And then um, you're going to look for something called Normal CDF. Basically, that stands for a normal. Distribution C stands for cumulative density function. And then you're gonna, you know, when you get old like me, you're gonna, you wanna use something called uh, plums. You need lots of plums. And uh, what that stands for is this. And the nice thing about the app I'm going to show you is it kind of tells you what it means. Okay, PLUM stands for, um, P means the probability that you will just use norm CDF. L means the lower bound U means upper bound or boundary. M stands for the mean or average, and S stands for the standard deviation. And again, the P, you're basically finding the probability, right? This is a review in the normal distribution curve. Do you believe in ghosts, right? And so it's always starting over here to the left up to this value. So if you wanted to find the area under this curve, this green here, you would get this value. That's what it's doing. Okay, let's get some steps for the uh, Desmos and then we'll try that example with uh, an example. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna click on is functions and you're also going to look for something called uh, normal distribution and you're going to put in there the mean comma standard deviation so again that is the mean and this one is the standard deviation okay and then all you need to know for Desmos is the box is equal to your area. Okay, um, it'll be on your worksheet, but um, I'll just read it out loud. Let's calculate the percent of adult men taller than uh, 70 inches. Uh, we know, given that the adult men's heights are normally distributed, so are normally distributed, and the mean is 69.3 with a standard deviation of 2.8. Okay, I'm going to show you guys first the Graph and Calc 83. There it is, Graph and Calc 83 is that black swirl one on the right hand side. And so the calculator commands were second, which is in the top left, it's yellow. And then I'm going to press VARS, which is below the down key. And then you're going to click on number two, where it says normal CDF. And in white there, it says normal CDF, lower bound, comma, upper bound, comma, mean comma standard deviation. So this is our plums. The P stands for the percentage, or the, we call it also fancy as a P value. And uh, in this problem, 
Okay, so we want to find taller than 70. So my lower bound um, is 70. And then we're going towards the end. So here, you can just type in like, um, you can just type in like 99,999. And our mean is 69.3. And our standard deviation comma is 2.8. And we will get this number as our answer. The answer is uh, 0.40, you round up 13, which is like 40.13%. 40.13%. There is a way to kind of give you a visual, well, make sure we understand. We were calculating this portion. So the answer is point. So normally how we did it before is we found the area of the green, green plus black equals one. And, um, you know, we would do the math and then we'd find the black to be that answer. but. The calculator can calculate it for me. Does that make sense? All right, let's try the Desmos app. So there's my Desmos app. Okay, so you're going to click on the box. You're going to click functions in the bottom right. And then you have a bunch of menus, trig, stats, distributions, and miscellaneous. You can go to distribution, dist, D-I-S-T. And you want to click on, there's two of them, um, the normal dist or distribution so you can click on that and isn't this cool when your standard deviation is you can put in there um, it's already in there but it's zero comma one close the parentheses and you click on find cumulative probability CDF it will shade it and we talked about how our answer is in the box, which is 1. The whole purple area is 1. So let's go ahead and press backspace and put in our numbers now. Um, we basically want um, our mean is uh, 120, comma, 12, close the parentheses, and then our minimum we want, sorry, sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Let's try that again. Functions, normal distribution. Let me start all over. Functions, normal distribution, and our 69.3, comma, no spaces needed, 2.8, close the parentheses, and then we want to find the cumulative, so check it. And our minimum, we wanted was 70, and our max we want is some really big number. And if you click the magnifying glass to the left there, the cool thing is it will show us what it's shading. And you notice the answer in the box is still uh, 0.4013. Okay, so this is using technology to figure out our answers here. Uh, in this case, again, we wanted the heights of men who are over 70, and that was the black area, and we found it in two ways, using either TI-83, Graphing Calc 83, or if you have a regular uh, TI-83 calculator, you can use that, or any TI-84+, plus, all that stuff, or the Desmos app. All right, to review using uh, either the TI-83 or Desmos, um, let me go use a different color here. Let's say we're trying to find the black area. This is something called our lower bound or boundary. And this is the upper boundary. If you're ever going towards like infinity, just use a really large number. I use something like 99,999. And if you're using something like if you wanted to say find the green, and this would be your lower bound negative infinity, you don't have that in your calculator, so you just type in like negative 99,999. All right, let's try um, B1, and the directions are up there in direction number three. Determine each percent using technology, the systolic. Blood pressure for women is normally distributed with a mean of 120. Let's write that down. And a standard deviation of 12. Okay, let's do the same thing we did before. We're going to draw a picture. 
here's my picture, my curve, my mean is in the middle, and I want something that is what? Less than. Less than means we learned previously means going towards the left. So basically we are finding out this picture right here. So again, this would be my lower bound, which I'm going to use like ne negative. You want to really use negative infinity, but we don't have that. And then here is actually my upper bound. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. Remember, we're going to use our acronym PLUMS for the TI-83. So second, VARS, norm CDF number 2, negative 99,999. And we're, um, that's going to go all the way up to 120. And then our mean is 120 and our standard deviation is 12. And our answer is 0.5 or 0.50, or which is 50%. Add a zero, multiply by 100. That yellow curved area is 50%. For 50% of women will have a systolic blood pressure uh, less than 120 millimeters per hg. I don't know what that is. Let me show you guys how to do that on the Desmos. Start over like you don't know. Functions, dis distributions, normal distribution right there. And then I'm going to type in 120, comma 12. And I'm going to check mark cumulative probability. And my minimum I already had in there. So Desmos already has the negative infinity. My max there, we want it to be 120. And you can see the answer in the box, and you can click the magnifying glass, and that's what you need to shade. So that was question B1. B2, um, again, our directions from above, we have a mean of 120, standard deviation of 12. Let's determine the percent of women with a systolic blood pressure between 125 and 140. Let's do the same thing, draw our picture. And our mean here is 120. 125 is here. And 140 is here. This is green. So basically, we want to find this region here in yellow. OK. <clears throat> so for my calculator, Instead of <clears throat> using a formula, my calculator commands, um, I just want to note that this here is my lower, and this is my upper boundary. All right, let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. Here's a cool trick. <clears throat> if you already have normal CDF in yours, you can just press second enter. And what it does is it's going to repeat the entry but you're going to have to um, go back and change some numbers. So we wanted a number at uh, 125 to 140. And you can just press delete. And I already have the mean and standard deviation. And our answer is 29.06. 29, or you round up, 29.07. You could put the calculator commands in there if you wanted to. So my plums, um, my lower was 125, upper 140, mean of 120, standard deviation 12. And that should say norm CDF. Let's do that with the Desmos now. So functions, distribution, normal distribution, 120 comma 12. And 
there's my curve, close the parentheses, click on it, then I want my minimum of 125 to 140. And there's a shaded area, and then if you click on the magnifying glass, it'll tell you there's an answer in the box, 0 0.290, round up, 7. So we don't have to use the table now, so I can just write an answer. Um, there's a 29.07% chance that a woman's, I don't know what systolic means, a systolic blood pressure, that's a P I guess, um, is between 125 and 140 um, millimeters per hg. So there's our answer. Let's move on to B3. Same thing, let's go ahead and draw ourselves a picture. And our mean is 120, standard deviation is 12. And let's go ahead and figure out, we want less than 93. So is 93 less than or more than 120? It's going to be less than, so 93. That's what I'm putting in there. I'm not putting it to the right. I'm putting it to the left. It's a smaller number. And less than means to go towards the left. So basically, we're sh this is our region. To get a calculator command, this is my lower bound. So something like negative 9,999. And this is my upper. So again, the calculator command is going to be norm CDF. And this is where my plums is. My lower is negative 99,999. My upper is 93, comma. My upper, my mean is 120, and my standard deviation is 12. So there's my calculator command. And you can just press second enter, or we can just do it again. Um, second vars number two CDF, and we want it in this problem um, negative ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine to ninety three comma mean one twenty comma standard deviation twelve close parentheses boom. And if you want to. One point twenty two percent. See if we can get the same thing over here. Okay, so the great thing is you already have all the information from the previous problem. If you don't, um, one mean comma standard deviation tells you, and then the minimum. We're just going to delete this. And we wanted that number to be uh, ninety three. Same answer, right? Multiply that by 1.22%. 1.22% chance that a woman's uh, systolic blood pressure is less than 93 millimeters per hgs and that's b3 let's try b4 all right b4 says a doctor would like a women's systolic blood pressure to be within one standard deviation of the mean okay let's draw ourselves a picture We know that the mean from direction number three is 120. Standard deviation is 12. Okay. <clears throat> Within means there's an upper and a lower. 
one standard deviation. So I'm just going to put one here. Yellow is my lower. Green is my upper. And determine the percent one who meet this criteria. So <coughs> remember, if you subtract one standard deviation, so subtract 12, right? That's why it's a minus 12 going to the left. You're going to get what? 108. Because if you go towards a 108 plus 12, you get 120. And if you add one standard deviation or add 12, you're going to get 132. Okay, so basically what we're trying to find is this area here. All of this. Okay, and then we already have our there's our plums. Which is our norm CDF. Our lower is 108. Upper is 132. My mean is 120. And standard deviation is 12. All right, let's put that in. Second VARS. Number two, and we said one standard deviation, which was 108. And then we added from one standard deviation, 120, 132, comma, 120, comma, 12. And I think it's going to say 68. <gasps> 68? How did I know that before I press enter? Hmm. Try that over here. Okay, the numbers are the same. But again, we're just going to delete that one. So let's pretend you didn't know how to get there. Functions, dist, distributions, norm dist. Uh, 120, comma, 12, close the parentheses, click on the box. And I want this from 108, 108 to 132. 68.27. Hmm, that's interesting. Right, they're saying that this area is 0.6827, and you just multiply that by 100. Chance that a woman's uh, systolic blood pressure is between or is I'm gonna erase that because I just you're just copying that sentence right there in green within one standard deviation. Okay, Mr. Ang, how did you know the answer before pressing enter and not looking at the answer key? Oh let's make sure we're clear, so I'm gonna get a different color here. One standard deviation of a normal curve is the empirical rule, 68, 95, 99.7. Oh, got it, got it, got it. All right, let's try B5. A woman's systolic blood pressure is considered high if it is greater than 140. Determine the percent of women who have high systolic blood pressure. Let's draw a picture. In direction number three, the mean is 120 and the standard deviation is 12. Okay, we're looking at greater than 120 or 140. They put 140 to the right of it because it's a number that's bigger, right? These are bigger numbers. That's bigger, smaller, or less than. So greater means going towards the right. We're trying to find out this blue area. Okay, so here, because the the left side of the shaded region, this is my lower. This is going to be my upper. Uh, we said use the word like positive infinity or ninety-nine thousand, and other parts of our plums. 
our mean is 120, standard deviation is 12, and we need norm CDF. Okay, let's put it up. Remember the trick is press second, enter, second, enter. Repeats everything, and then we're just gonna have to put it in there. So 140 comma 9999 99000 120 comma 12 boom. Uh, multiply that number by 100 you get 4.78%. Uh, 0.0478. Just try that over here. Again, the numbers are already in there so you can just change these. And I'm going to get um, 140 now, if you delete this, what did it put in there? Infinity, which is 99,909. Watch, you can just you can also put that number in there. You still get the same answer. Okay, so uh, four point. What did we say? Four point. Um, seven eight percent chance. That a woman will have a systolic blood pressure. Then I'm just copying that greater than one hundred forty. Like I just got my, my blood tested and um, it told me all these facts, just like we're writing right now. It'll tell me if I'm high, low, or within range. Um, MMHG stands for millimeters of mercury. Yeah, millimeters of mercury. HG is the uh, scientific uh, periodic table thingy. Okay, B6. Determine the percent of women with a systolic blood pressure more than two standard deviations below the mean. Okay, so we know from direction number three that the mean is 120, standard deviation is 12. Let's draw a picture. There's my ghost, 120. Okay, two standard deviations below, so it means I'm going to subtract 12. This here represents one standard deviation, which is... Uh, 108 and if you subtract 12 again you will get 96 and it wants more than so that's going towards the right which means something like this okay and then we got to use our plums Oh, way over here, huh? So my lower is going to be um, 96. My upper is way over here. Uh, we said use 99,999. My mean is 120 and my standard deviation is 12. Let's put it in. I forgot all the numbers I just put in there. Um, second VARS CDF um, two standard deviations below 108 96 comma two um, going above shading above so that's 99,999 120 comma 12 and our answer is going to be uh, 90 99, 97.72%. All right, let's do that with this thing. All right, all the numbers are the same, but we're doing it to um, 96. And you can just erase this and it goes to infinity. And there's your answer. 97, 92. 97, 92% chance. A women's 
systolic blood pressure is more than two. Oh, a little nicer. Sorry, two standard deviations below the mean. And then you could have, they could have easily changed the problem to say less than, right? And you just go that direction. And that's our answer. That is um, skills practice 513B, 1 to 6. We doing mad today. Ain't got time for no games.